Hey, hey, you there? Hey, you dig rain dancers? Hey, fish your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time... On several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on. Swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it.
D? Are you still with me? Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? I'll give you a activity.
Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Red Menace, Purple Force, it's us, Crap! Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. But it's a weak lead. Uh, too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn! All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt, I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V.
is El Machistador, an explosion of chase! My untrained deer? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals. And no amount of eddies can buy him back. All right, Princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell Eds. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. The jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Johnny, pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Hey, um, Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes, wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. 
You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them wreckers out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even do. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs. But forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help a chew out. Give me a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd win wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please. Can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it.
much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but... It's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Tell me about your fantasies, honey. Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Everyone wants their privacy. Maybe, but not as. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. I'm so sorry. Mm. And why is that? Sooner or later. Love will only let you down. Guess it'll be sooner. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. 
How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. The scratch? You'll get it. <laughs> sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? Can count on me. Perfect. Remember. I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go.
What can I get you? This time it worked, Jum. I can feel it in my fucking dick. Forget it.
Explosion of shame! 